What's going on YouTube? Josh here checking in, back with another training video. This footage is from an upper body training session on October the 1st, and I didn't really want to talk too much about the training itself, I wanted to focus a little bit more on a topic, and that is really making time for training and really making it a priority. So if you're new to the channel, I'm actually a medical student, and right now I'm on a surgery rotation. So. Um, you know, that can be kind of demanding and, you know, just because I'm in medical school doesn't mean that my schedule is any more demanding than anyone else. Um, it's just, you know, something that's busy. Everybody has work and school and everything else and life and have to see your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever else you have going on. But the bottom line is you need to always make time for the gym because, you know, if you just don't make it a priority, it's never going to happen. This training session basically was happening the the day following a 24-hour shift. So I was in the hospital, it was supposed to be 24 hours, uh, ended up being around 27 hours. Got home, got some rest, and then got into the gym to get a quick workout in before uh, basically getting back to some studies. So, you know, when you're super busy like this and you're tired and whatever else is going on, you know, it's very easy to say, well, I had a really long day, I had whatever's going on, maybe I'll go to the gym tomorrow or the next day. And then that's kind of the excuse that happens all the time before you ha realize you haven't been to the gym for, you know, a week, a month, whatever the case is. One thing that I like to particularly remind myself of is basically the fact that any workout is a good workout, right? It's always pretty much better to get into the gym and get some work in than to do absolutely nothing. The exception will probably be if you're deathly ill and you're really just going to make yourself a lot worse, okay, stay home. But most of the time we're really just very busy and tired and whatever else is going on. And that's where it also comes in having kind of some smart programming. So at the moment I'm not exactly following a very specific program as I'm still recovering from a lower body injury. but. You know, I am still following sound uh, principles when it comes to my exercise selection. You'll notice in this workout, I literally do three different exercises. I do flat bench, I do overhead press, and I do close grip bench press. And that's it. Keeping it simple using compound movements, and I'm getting the work in. It's, you know, nothing too, uh, too fancy, but it works. And again, I'm not really necessarily using very heavy weights. Um, this is only... 125 uh, for overhead press for a set of 10 and you know you can see that that it's not terribly challenging and that's because I'm really exhausted uh, you know I had that overnight shift previously but in the end it's just a matter of getting the work in right one other really important thing to consider when you're in the gym especially if you're training for strength where you have uh, you know somewhat longer rest intervals between sets is trying to take advantage of that time so you'll see over here, this is obviously sped up quite a bit, but this is what I do between sets. I basically study. Um, so, you know, if, whether you're studying, whether you're catching up on emails, whether you're doing whatever, it makes your time in the gym much less of a waste of, of time, you know? Once you change the weights after that, you know, you should still have maybe a few minutes left where you can use that time and study and get stuff done. And, uh, you know, it also kind of helps me feel a little bit better about going to the gym knowing I still have all the studying to do and all these other errands to run, things like that. So uh, this is just uh, some close grip bench pressing to finish off my workout. I'm going to switch gears here and talk a little bit about the training itself. Uh, so that first one I did for a set of 10 and this one I did a set of 8. My triceps started to get pretty fatigued and you'll see here on that last rep it is a pretty solid grind. It's interesting, I find for close grip, I'm pretty good up until the last maybe one or two reps, and then it's just a slow grind. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.